Okay, so you simply want to find a value in a range. Let's say we have an A column here with a bunch of numbers all the way down, a thousand different numbers, and we have in the C column a bunch of different names, and we're like, ah, we just want to know if like there's one number we think of, is it in this list? Uh, and let's like pick five, four, six, six. So if we want to take this number and we're like, ah, do we really want to scroll through this or do we want to copy it and command F, find it in the sheet, go down to it. This is a bit complicated, right? We want to do this in a formula. So I'm going to show you two formulas that you can do this with. Uh, one, which is going to be VLOOKUP. Uh, search key is going to be the thing you're looking for. Uh, and then the range is going to be here. And index, I will show you why this is important later, but right now we're going to do one. And then I'm going to do comma, and we're going to just do false. Uh, I do false all the time is sorted, even if it is sorted and I know it's sorted. This is just sort of a fail safe for me. I just always put false. It's also optional. Um, and there it is. It's, it's right there. But like, where is it in here? And what does it matter? Well, we can use match to say, okay, let's search for that key as well, that 546615. Let's do the exact same range. We're going to select A colon A here, the A column. Our search type is going to be zero. And it says 154. What does that mean? Let's scroll down and see if it's at online 154. And it is. And here is the name Marcus Pennington. So why I chose VLOOKUP here is because often we're looking for a value in a range and we want other information from that. So instead of doing VLOOKUP A colon A, I'm actually going to do a colon C. I'm going to include the names here. And now, if I just hit enter, nothing changes. But if I change this index from 1 to 3, which means the third column from the left side, counting from left to right, I hit enter, and now I get Marcus Pennington. So that's pretty cool if you're looking for information based on the value in that range. Uh, and if we want to use, basically, VLOOKUP, presupposes that on the left side is where you're going to have your key information, your primary key, which is unique uh, numbers or unique names. It's always going to be on the left. But let's say we're looking for, uh, let's say we want to do this in reverse. We're like, actually, we want to find Marcus Pennington and we want to get the number that's in the A column. And for some reason, we cannot move the A column. We can't move it over to the right of the C column so that the C column of the names is on the left side. V look up presupposes that the left side is the thing you're searching for, and then you're going to get information to the right. So we can use this match over here, and we're just going to wrap it in an index. So match over here gets us the row. We know which row it is. Now we just need to get the row in the C column. So we just say equals index. Reference is going to be, uh, we have, it could be A or yeah, A. Our row is going to be this F2 here, and our column is going to be 1. And there it is. There's the number. We can also change A to A to C to C to get the C column, and we get the name. So this match can be wrapped with index. So let me show you that all at once. Let's say we have our name. We're looking for Marcus Pennington. Uh, here, we have in the D1 here, we have Marcus Pennington equals index, and we're going to reference, where are we going to end up? Well, we want to end up in the A column. We're going to do a comma, and now we're going to write match in for row. The search key is going to be Marcus Pennington. The range is going to be the C column. That's where we're going to look for Marcus. We're going to find the row number, and then we're going to get the row number in the A column. Now, search type zero. And we can put a column here for one if we want. And there we go. We have now a little bit of search thing here where we can search for any name and get the number over here on the left side. So this was really, really helpful. Uh, and if you're looking for something a little less dynamic, meaning this D2 is referencing Marcus Pennington, if you're like, I'm always going to look for this text no matter what, and I don't want it in another cell, I just want the result, Instead of D2, put in quotes, in double quotes, the name Marcus Pennington. And there you go. The exact same result here where we're looking up Marcus Pennington. We're looking up in the C column. Tell me, which row is it in? We're saying, give me exactly the row. 
and then that row number is going to be the row number of the index of the A column. So index match is a really good uh, use to find a value, looking up a value in this uh, A column from a C column because it's the reverse of VLOOKUP. Not the reverse. It's a much more flexible version of VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP absolutely can do this, but you must have the uh, thing you're looking through on the first column, and then to the right you need to have all the values that you want to get out of. So VLOOKUP is a little less flexible. Uh, and there's also XLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, but uh, I really like index match. I find it extremely flexible, versatile uh, to find that value in a range and get all the other information you want from it uh, across a whole sheet. Uh, you can also re retrieve um, much more information here if you want.